Hi guys, Matt Collins here from Beausoleil. In this video I want to talk about how to strip and re-spool your monofilament mainline. I also want to show you how to look after your mainline, avoid line twist and basically keep it fishing well for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take my rods here, take the uh, spool cap off, put that carefully to one side, take the spool off and then to make it easier to strip I'm going to soak these spools in some warm soapy water. So we've got our three spools in the bucket there and what we're going to do is I'm going to take the three pieces of line from those spools going to tie a simple overhand knot to join those together and then I'm going to be able to strip these simultaneously all in one go. So holding the knot of the three lines we can now begin stripping the three spools simultaneously. So we've reached the end of the uh, first spool here. So now we're going to continue on and find the next one and uh, the next one's just here open up that loop cut through like that one last strand to go so there we go that's the end of the first stage now the next thing we've got to do is get this old line in the recycling now's a good opportunity to give the spools a good clean up so before we can spool up the first thing we need to do is actually soak the line in some warm soapy water this is important because the warm water softens the line and will help it go on the spools better. A little bit of detergent in there will help take any grease off that's present during the manufacturing process. So we're going to leave that line soaking for 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that. I wouldn't advise soaking them overnight. My, nylon, which is what monofilament is basically made of with some uh, additional elements in there, is basically hydroscopic. Hydroscopic means that it's going to absorb water. So if you leave a spool soaking overnight, some manufacturer's line can actually compress so hard on the spool that they're made on that they can explode or crack the, uh, uh, crack the spool. So we're just about ready to spool this up now. Now what I've found over the years is that most of the lines that I've used respond well to spooling with a spool spinning horizontally like that. So we're just going to take the line off like that. Now there's a number of guys that swear that you've got to take it off the front of the spool or the back of the spool, i.e. like that or like that, depending on whether it's clockwise and anti-clockwise. Well, that might work for the lines that they're using, but most of the lines that I've used, it generally works better if you just take it, uh, take it off in a straight manner like that. So uh, that's the way we're going to do this one now. Now, just with a normal bucket here, still with the warm water, just going to uh, put that in so that it's uh, it's in shallow water there, and that'll help control the spin as we uh, as we spool this up. So next, we're going to connect our line to our spool. First, we're going to thread the line through the butt ring. Then we'll open the bail arm. Next, we're going to make a slip knot in order to connect the line to the bobbin. Start off by forming a loop and then form another small loop. Take the line once, twice, three times through the smaller loop and pull tight. We can then open up this loop so it's large enough to go over the spool. Slip the loop over the spool and position it at the bottom. You can now pull that knot tight at the bottom of the spool. Now we can trim off the tag end. Close the bail arm and we're ready to wind. It's very important when we're spooling up that we maintain tension at all times on the line. So I'm just going to use my right hand here and control the line with my index finger and thumb. Start winding slowly. Maintaining tension through your fingers at all times. So one of the key things that we're looking to avoid when we're spooling up monofilament mainline is to avoid line twist. Now, just to show you what can happen when you get it wrong, so I've put this spool in label side up and I've wound some line off it. So this is what happens when it goes wrong. Look, if I just 
take this line and bring it together, it's automatically twisting and coiling together. It looks absolutely horrible. So if we were to continue like that, we'd have a disaster on our hands. So I know some folk, you know, really swear by always take it off the top of the uh, label sized up. But I can tell you for a lot of lines, this is simply not the case and it, you'll, get a, you'll get a poor result doing this. Um, this is Barclays big game try line and uh, certainly not one to take from the label side up. So just keep the winding at a steady pace. You've got to keep the tension even, keep the speed even. If the line flips off the edge of the spool, then just stop and reset it. So it's really important to um, fill a spool properly. As you can see from the uh, edge of that spool there, it's just up to the level of the lip. That's perfect. To finish, we just put the line back in the clip. So, spool all filled. Now, uh, the next uh, the, the next stage is to actually uh, actually stretch that in and uh, and, and cast it in basically. So, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to the lake and uh, just attach a, a, a standard swivel lead and uh, cast it half a dozen times to uh, to help bed that line in. So we've spooled up our rod and before we can fish with it we need to actually cast it in to help bed the line. So all I've done here is uh, I've taken a, uh, uh, taken a three ounce lead, tied it onto the end of the main line and what we're going to do is cast this out half a dozen times just to help bed down the line. Whenever we cast out a rod for the first time and during this session it's important to keep the uh, spool lubricated so I've just got a bucket of lake water here and just pouring that over the spool will keep the line lubricated and help it peel off the spool nicely. Just before we cast just a little check there to make sure the line's through the rings nicely. Nice smooth wind. You want to keep the uh, keep the coils going on very evenly, and we're going to do this half a dozen times just to bed the line in. In order to make your fishing trouble free and enjoyable, it's important to know how to look after our main line. One of the things we need to do when we're fishing is to avoid line twist. Now, a common mistake I often see on the bank is anglers. When they want to pull a bit of line off, they slacken the clutch and pull line off the clutch. Now, every turn that comes off the clutch is a twist in the line. So, if your method of threading up your line is to slacken off the clutch and just pull it through the rings like that, then you're twisting your line every single time. Now, I'm just going to correct that line twist that I've put in just by winding that back on there like that. So, it's important to avoid doing that all the time. So there are a couple of options for uh, avoiding line twists when we're fishing. One, simply grab the line with our finger, open up the bail arm and pay off what we need. Just like that. Another way of doing it is to simply turn the anti-reverse off and backwind. Now I want to show you a method of how to take the line twist out of line that has become twisted for whatever reason. So to take twist out of line that's already twisted, the method I use is basically to walk the lines out. So just taking a bank stick here, I'm going to wrap my lead just around that to keep that, to keep that pinned. Then what we're going to do is we're going to walk this line out. When walking out lines to take line twist out, what we need to do is walk them out the same distance or ideally a little bit further than the distance that we're fishing. So here we go we've walked out about 80 yards which is the maximum distance that I could fish across this margin that I'm fishing today. Now what we have to do is walk back up the other end and cut that lead off. Now the end of the line is free we can walk back up to the rod and then we're going to take the twists out. Now we're going to reel it back in under tension through our fingers. Just keep a smooth tension on the, on the line. Don't reel too fast because you'll burn your fingers. 
very important not to let go of the line at any point. And what this is doing is actually taking the twist out of the line because the line is free to spin at the cut end. So that simple process is good for removing minor line twist. If after you've done that a couple of times it's still very twisted, basically what you're going to have to do is cut that off. So there we go, I hope you found those tips on spooling up and taking out line twist useful. Don't forget it's important to check main line for uh, nicks and cuts and abrasions when we're fishing as well. So it's a good idea to uh, walk, the main, walk the lines out and inspect them during a session, especially uh, if you think that they've touched an obstacle. Thanks for watching, all the best with your fishing.